Chosen ones, where you are, 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 where you are. Chosen ones, back with another powerful and productive video, right? They want to come back. They are sick and tired of searching. The search is over for them. So they now want to come back. Chosen ones. Give people time. Give people space. Allow people to roam, to search. Don't beg anyone. Don't be needy for anyone. Don't be desperate for anyone. Don't beg them to stay with you. Allow them their space, their time. Allow them do whatever they want to do. And I'm telling you, what is yours is always yours. What is meant to be for you is always yours. Nobody can take it from you. What is yours is yours. What will be will be be i'm telling you what is yours will always feel great it will feel good it will feel natural it will feel real it will not be forced it will not be chaotic it will not be problematic but it will be calm, it will be poised, it will be serene, it will just feel great. If God is involved, I'm telling you. So never ever force anything. That is how you know if something is really for you. Chosen ones. You already know that scripture made us understand, made us aware, right? That the days allotted to each and every one is recorded in the big book of God. That means whatever will be happening to us in this life, God already knows of it. The universe already knows of it, which means there are no accidents in this universe. I'm telling you, the God that created this universe is a God of order. If you don't believe in God, let's, let's call it the cosmos. The force that creates this universe is called the cosmos. And cosmos means order. It means nothing is happening by accident. Nobody is coming into your life by accident accident for they come into your life or you meet people things happen to you for a reason nothing out of god's control out of god's record for your life will ever happen to you if it is not meant to be in your life in the first place so when something is happening in your life or has happened in your life when certain people come into your life they divide they scatter they uh, subtract and they didn't add or multiply anything count it all joy it is God that allows it it is the universe that allows it it is nature that allows it it is part of your destiny call when you understand things of this nature you will not stress yourself over anything you will always detach yourself and move with the flow of life knowing that life is happening for you and not to you not against you but in your favor for whoever comes in your life and stay is a blessing whoever comes and goes away is a blessing also in disguise oh yes when you understand these things these basic universal laws 
of the universe. You will not be worried. You will not be stressed when people want to move out of your life. You will let them, their time, their space, their energy, you will allow them to roam, to do their search and just be you, knowing that you are a work in progress. So you will focus on you. You will focus on yourself to help yourself to become your true and authentic self. For that is the main goal in this life. Oh yes, what is worth fighting for in this life is you becoming your true self. You developing yourself. You becoming your real self. You not being the same person you were yesterday, but you being a different version of yourself, the version that you always yearn to be. So, when you know this, you will detach yourself. The moment you understand things and you detach yourself from the things that comes into your life, the things that you possess, the things that you own, that is the beginning of true happiness, of true joy, of true contentment, I'm telling you. A man, a woman that detaches will forever be happy, no matter the outcome, no matter what happens. Knowing and trusting and believing that it is working in his favor, that he or she is linked up with God, he or she is one with God. And if you are one with God, what happens to you doesn't matter because you know that God is involved. Jehovah is involved. Elohim is involved. Yahweh is involved. Yahshua is involved. Right? And when God is involved in your matter, changes are beginning. Breakthrough, blessings, healing, deliverance, salvation for your soul. Oh yes, I'm telling you. So, as you allow them their time and space and they are sick and tired of their searching, they now want you back. That's it, chosen one. You don't have to force anything. Worry over anything. You see, the moment you begin to worry about someone living your life, you have shifted your energy into different vibration and you will be attracting more worries. You will be a victim. You will be living in self-pity. But if you let them go, let them be who they want to be, all right? And you also accept yourself to be who you want to be. I'm telling you, that is going to make you more happy. And sooner or later, they are going to return back, turn back to you. I'm telling you, don't chase people. Okay? The more you try to chase them, it's become fun for them. So they be, they'll be running further. But if you don't chase them, You've cut the fun. Okay? So, they will now need time to figure out themselves. After figuring out themselves, discovering themselves, who they are and who you really are to them in their life. Right? If there is no one like you, they will surely return back to you. Love, they say. Right? It's like a butterfly. The more you try to chase it, the more it will escape or eludes you. But when you stop chasing it and you relax, it will fly and fly and come and land either on your ears or on your head or even on your arms or on your hands. Oh yes, that is how love is. Remember, 
what is meant to be will always feel calm, peaceful, natural. Will always feel great. Will always feel good, relaxed, not forced, not attached, not cling on, but will feel the form of detachment. That is what is going to happen. And that is true, genuine, real love. Genuine or real love says, I love you. I want you to be happy. If that happiness includes me, that's great. If it doesn't, that is great because I love you. But possession, clinging on, attachment, holding on to, says, I love you and you have to make me happy by hook or crook. And normally, this form of love is not love. It always leads to pain. It leads to hurt. It leads to one person suffering. But when you are loud, when you are soft like a river, oh, you become so powerful. I'm telling you. And that is the kind of person you should be. Give them time. They will search. They will be sick and tired. And they will come back into your life. Thank you for watching this video. I'm out for now. See you in my next video.